Hey everyone, welcome to another tool release. This time it's a stair tool, it builds staircases. You can see staircases behind me, and if I swing around, there's just staircases everywhere. I guess this is the world I built it in. Um, huge thanks to a bunch of the community for helping out. Um, I may miss some of you, um, sorry if I do, but uh, Arctic Penguin, Rue, Shelfoot, uh, Alex from Alaska, SHFR, um, Vigil, uh, Medra, just like basically like half the community helped with this tool. Um, so it's really nice to see. Thank you so much. Um, even by just running up and down the stairs, you, uh, you help. So thank you so much for that. Um, I'm going to take you through the tool, show how it works. So hop to smooth POV. We're going to go down here. This isn't actually a tool which has um, like a, a tool tip, uh, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I was thinking about ways of improving this already, and there might be a tool tip later, but right now there isn't. Um, so what you do here is you basically specify a bunch of metrics and it will generate a staircase based on that. So um, it's easier to talk about the metrics when you generate a staircase. So there's a staircase for you. And um, what we're doing here is we've got a staircase, which is 1.5 units or meters in height. So that's this distance from here down to there. So um, that's the total uh, height that the stairs let you climb. The step height is how much distance there is between each step. So um, this is currently set to 0.1, so there's 0.1 here. So because we're going 1.5 and it's 0.1, there are 15 stairs here. The total width is just the width of the staircase, so that's how wide it is from here to here. Um, and then the step depth is um, the length of the step from here to here. So you could drop that all the way down to say it's 0.1, Move this staircase out of the way for a second, generate another one, and you'll see it's a lot um, it's a lot sort of steeper of a staircase. I don't my um, I don't recommend going um, too small in that number because that controls sort of how easy it is to climb. Um, as for climbing, yes, you can climb these. A quad is positioned um, appropriately so you can climb it. It turns into a ramp. Uh, so if I change this back to say not point, I think one five was a good number. Uh, then we get this staircase, and if I put this on the ground here, like that, and then I go into uh, walk run, you'll see here I can just go up the staircase and down the staircase. That's all there is really to it. Um, there's a couple of sort of test things here. Um, thanks as well to the Polylogic Slope tool, which kind of sort of inspired this a little bit. Uh, we used some of uh, similar mechanics here with the slope, and etc. But it's all handled automatically. So what happens is the staircase is built using uh, primitives, so it uses uh, box meshes. The box meshes are um, arranged using an axis aligner. Got to love the axis aligner. A quad is then um, angled appropriately along the stairs um, top using trigonometry. And then the uh, box meshes are baked and the quad is uh, positioned. Everything's parented together and then it dumps it in the world route for you. And when it's in the world route, you can then just pick it up and uh, move it around. If I open an inspector, you'll see uh, what we've got here. So you'll see we've got a stair object, which is the, the route. And underneath that's the quad, which... Um, is the ramp that you walk on, and then underneath that is the, um, it's an axis aligner that's baked, so it's just called a liner. Um, there's also material there, so it's one material for the whole staircase, you can shoot it in the material tool and get whatever you want. If you take a look at the mesh in the um, mesh orb here, you'll see it's uh, a little bit wasteful in its tries, and that's because it's it's built and, and generated, but it's, it's not that bad at all for, uh, you know, a completely procedural staircase. That's all there is to it. I'm just going to set it as a material to see how that looks. I haven't actually tried this yet. It might be bad, and that's because the uh, the UVs obviously aren't generated. Um, but we can take a look. So if we just go metal... Uh, let's go gold. Gold staircase, yeah. I'll need a material tooltip as well. Uh, here. Let's just see what this looks like. Oh right, that's right. There's no um, there's no collider on the actual staircase because it's um, a because uh, it's a static mesh. Uh, we can just do that, and then it all lines. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. You might have to sort of tweak the material or UV it manually, but it doesn't look too bad as a as a metal staircase. Also, during uh, testing of the tool, um, some of the maths just messed up, and I ended up with this. I'm keeping this. I don't really know why. It'll go in my uh, primitives folder. If you haven't seen that, it's inside my public folder. Go to 
Is it in my public folder or did I not put it in my public folder? Oh no, it's in the directory. I need to put it in my public folder though. But it's inside uh, the primitives uh, public folder that's within the directory. That's all there is to it. You can find this in my public folder. It's called StairTool v1. There will be updates to it later. Um, look forward to some cool stuff. Uh, this is v2 here. I uh, don't have the heart to continue the maths because it gets more complicated, but the v2 has um, floating steps, as in there's no um, there's no mass of sort of concrete or whatever here supporting the stairs, um, which will be super cool. People have already asked for spiral staircases, circular staircases, uh, you know, sort of curved staircases. Maybe one day. Not today, though. I hope you enjoy stairs. <laughs> That's all there is to it. I've been going mad, so I'm going to take off here and not think about stairs for quite a while. Uh, let me know if you've got any uh, comments or questions below, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.